Now the next component in this, after you've identified the story that you're telling yourself and you started to reframe it, is to make sure that your actions are congruent with the story you're telling yourself. For example, if I go around calling myself overweight in my head and just kind of getting down on my appearance or whatever, and then I start to reframe it by thinking, yes, but I've lost weight in the past and I'm taking steps and you know this is not ins insurmountable. But then I spend the next six months eating Cheetos on the couch. My attempts to reframe my self-talk is not gonna matter very much because my actions aren't congruent with the narrative that I'm trying to create in my head. And this is a component that I think is often lost in a lot of self-help literature and self-help thinking, where the emphasis is on affirmations and words and choosing a new narrative, but there isn't a lot of emphasis placed on actually taking action, actually making sure that your actions are congruent with the narrative you're crafting in your head, making sure that the actions you're taking is congruent with your self-talk.